Hi kids, welcome to Declaration Station. I'm Captain Hart from the Faith Builders, we bring to hope. And in today's episode, we have a memory verse from KidWise, a game that we're going to play, Abby's going to be by with a declaration, and Adventure Alley with Super T and KidWise. It's going to be awesome. Here we go. Hey everybody, my name is KidWise, and I'm here to do your memory verse with you today. Philippians 3 and 10 says, I want to know Jesus. Yes! to know the power of his resurrection. So here's what we're gonna do. We have three actions today for our Bible verse. When we say the word yes, we're gonna jump around and we're gonna say it three or four times. Yes, 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 yes. But we're gonna put our fist in the air, way up in the air, yes, yes, yes. Now when we say the word no, I want you to point at your heart because remember, It's not just knowledge in your brain that we're looking for. We want to know Jesus personally in our hearts. Now, when we say the word power, I want you to flex your muscles. Okay, here we go. Philippians 3 and 10. I want to know Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. To know the power of his resurrection. Now it's your turn, kids. Great job! Declaration Station Hi kids, Pastor Rod here. I'm going to do your declaration with you today. It goes like this. Jesus, I want to know you so I can grow, 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 grow. Okay, so here's the actions. Are you ready? Jesus, I want to know you so because we want to point at our heart when we know Jesus personally. So, Jesus, I want to know you so I can grow, 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 grow. Okay, kids, it's your turn. Great job, kids. Bye now. Hi kids, Captain Hart here. It's game time. So we're gonna find three things today. I want you to find a stuffed animal. I want you to find an orange crayon and I need you to find a snack. Okay, ready? On your mark, get set, go! Hey kids, welcome to Adventure Alley. We're gonna do something fun while you watch today's episode. Every time you hear one of us say the word no, that's no with a K, to know something, you say out loud, I wanna know. Let's practice. It's important to know. Did you do it? Okay, let's go. Thanks Superwise, it's important to know God personally. Our Bible verse in 2 Peter 1 and 5 tells us to add to our faith goodness, which we talked about last week, and to goodness, knowledge. Um, Cap, is my teacher coming over? Um, I haven't quite finished my homework yet. No, Super T, relax. Miss Snorkelbutton is not coming over, I promise. Oh, good, because when I said I haven't finished, I probably should have said I haven't finished starting yet. Dude, that project is due tomorrow. It took me three days to finish mine. What are you doing, Super T? Lord, could you make the sun stop again like you did in the Old Testament? I might need a little bit more time. Oh, Super T, you're so funny. Cap, you know we'll be here all day if you keep encouraging him. Right. 
See, the Bible tells us to add to our faith goodness, and to goodness add knowledge. Now, it's really important that we know things. We need to know how to tie our shoes, or how to read, and how to spell. Um, Cap, that reminds me. Spelling. Miss Snorgle Button uh, assigned spelling homework. Oh, man. You were saying, Cap? It's important to know all those things, but the Bible is so cool. Each word specifically chosen by God to teach us new things. The word knowledge means to keep gaining facts about things. Like the seahorses, they get married and stay together forever. Or like most elephants weigh less than the tongue of a blue whale. Right, Superwise, those are really cool facts. But this word knowledge here means more than just facts. It's also talking about first-hand knowledge. Let me try to explain it this way. Do any of you know any famous people? Well, there's Brock and Graceland and Blaine and Laura. You know, the kids who've done memory verses for us. They're so cool. Have you met them? Um, no, but I've seen them on the internet. So you don't mean you know them personally? Well, I guess you're right. I, I don't know them personally. See, the Bible tells us it's important to add knowledge, to know about God. But not just to know about him, but to know him personally. So how do we know him personally? Can we go over to his house for bagels? <laughs> we know him personally in many ways, but here are two really cool ways. The first one, you might need some help if you're too young to read. But the other, everybody can do. The first one is to read your Bible. Read it for yourself. Even if you read just a little bit, maybe mom or dad are reading it to you, but you start reading out loud, even just a few words. Those are like your words. You personally read them. Maybe you're old enough to read a few verses or, or maybe even a whole chapter, but doing it yourself personally is so important. What's the other one, Cap? Eating bagels with Jesus? Super T, there are no bagels with Jesus. Sorry, I think I'm hungry. Well, Super T, you're actually right. I can have bagels with Jesus? He can have bagels with Jesus? He sure can. You see, when you're about to eat your breakfast bagel, just stop before and pray and thank Jesus for this bagel. That's so cool. I'm going to have bagels with Jesus. Super T, it's not really about bagels. It's about you praying, spending time with Jesus. Prayer. Now that's a big deal. That's just for adults, right? No, Super T. I love to pray. At first, I was a little scared I was doing it wrong, but I realized it's just like talking to my mom or my dad. Nothing to be afraid of. I love talking with Jesus. Wow, this is so cool. Bagels with Jesus, and I get to talk to him too? That's right, Super T. Prayer is easy. It's just you personally talking to Jesus. It's that easy. Well, kids, remember to add to your faith goodness, and a goodness, knowledge. Why not try our two things this week? Try reading as much as you can, even if mom and dad say repeat after me for the really little ones. Try praying, you know, talking with Jesus. Hey, Super T, where are you going? I'm going to get some bagels and talk with Jesus. Thanks, Cap. Well, that's it for Adventure Alley today, kids. Love you. Bye. Hey kids, welcome back to another episode of Things That Make You Go, huh? Now, I've got a plasma ball here. Watch it follow my finger. That's so cool. Things that make you go, huh? Hey kids, welcome back to another episode of Things That Make You Go, huh? Now, you've seen the plasma ball before, and you've seen me put a regular light bulb against it. But watch what happens when we use a fluorescent tube. It's kind of like a lightsaber. Watch. Things that make you go, huh? Now, I've got my plasma ball in front of me, and it's not plugged in. Here's the wire. 
watch what happens when I wrap the wire around it and when I plug it into the plasma bowl and start, what? The wire by itself is lighting up the tube. Things that make you go, huh? Well, that was an awesome declaration station. Remember kids, let's spend some time getting to know Jesus this week by reading our Bibles and praying. Remember, why don't we be like Super T and have bagels with Jesus? Oh, you may not like bagels. You may like cereal or something else, but it's important to stop and to pray and to spend time with Jesus. Love you guys. We all want to know him better. Bye now.